Yo guys, what's going on? It's Bot Whip and Snipes here. Today I'm gonna be telling you guys um six easy scam methods that you can avoid um in say Fortnite Save the World and these are six scam methods that people use to scam you and um the reason I'm actually showing you guys this is not so I can help you out with their scamming because I don't like Fortnite scammers and I do not scam myself, period. So the easiest way to like avoid scamming well I'm gonna give you five tips. This is for the avoid scamming, not to do them. So please don't take these tips to your advantage, guys. Please don't scam people in Fortnite because it really people really work hard to get these type of guns and scamming them ain't gonna do you no good. Now sure if a scammer scams you, it's okay to scam them back. In fact I scam them back as many times as I could because they deserve that. But if it's a legit trader just give their gun back, guys. Like, don't, don't scam them because that's just sad. Don't. Why would you do that? You know. And that's just something. I know you guys are tempted to like steal their one thirties and stuff, but just don't do that. In fact, if you just get, uh, if you guys don't do that, it'll make this whole entire Fortnite a better place. So you know. Yeah. It was an educational speech of the day, but no, with all seriousness though, I'm not gonna try to like make the video longer or anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys that um I'm gonna get into the first scam method, which is gonna be the home based scam method. There's two scam methods that, that you can do this with. One, you can kick the people, and two, you can edit their floors out. Now what I'm gonna show you first is the edit the floors out because I'm pretty sure most of you guys watching this video already know if you played Save the World for at least about a week. You probably already know about the kick the people out the home base. Basically, they drop their weapon, and as soon as they drop, you kick people. Now, to avoid this happening to you, all you have to do is tell the people or tell the person who you're trained with to move around when you drop your weapon. Because if you move around, you won't be able to actually, like, kick someone. Like, for example, you see I'm able to move around just fine now, but when I'm in the settings, I can't move around. So, if I was in the settings to click on their name and kick them, it will take me a minute, and it would pretty much expose and the moment I see that guy stop moving I pick up my weapon you'd have to constantly move because you can easily get scammed by doing that and that's the way to avoid it another method um, of scamming that's going to be in today's video is the edit through the floor scam and how this works basically is let me go to my train box yeah. and this is also my scammer get scam box too so yeah basically Let's see. What you would do is you would make something. Well, let me show you guys that. What you do is you make a box like this. It doesn't have to be four layer. It's just a four way trading box. So with four people in here that I trust, I can you know have a four way trade going on at the same time. But it's really just two separate trading boxes normally. But if you guys haven't noticed, this isn't actually like the real ground to my um to my bill basically if you go under here there's this and then this is a scammer get scammed area and this is how you basically make it you could just do this I'm actually gonna destroy this real quick give me a second and if um if you want to make this better for scammer get scammed all you have to do is just don't build the bot don't build this it's actually smarter not to build these and just leave these empty but um anyway the scammer or the person who's joining you won't be able to really know that you can do that or they won't they probably will know but they probably won't be thinking about that specifically at the time if you don't kick them they'll probably just be like oh yeah that's cool because most people build their home bases like this so things can't like get up under their home base and stuff like that it makes it way easier to move around and stuff like myself I've built my home base like this and you should too it's making it a lot easier Anyway, um, basically what you would do is when you're trading, uh -uh. Uh, the guy, let's say you drop your weapon, let's say I drop a 106 uh, knock, they would edit you out your floor, make you fall, edit this wall, steal your knock, well first what they would do is they would do this, they'd edit you out, and then they edit you back in, bam, get your weapon, just that easy. If you're a fast editor, that's really going to make that a high possibility that, that it could happen to you. To avoid this, it's very simple. Do this right here. 
put a trap on your floor when you're training with someone at home base or anything tell them to give you edits and put a trap on your floor or something so that can't happen to you or just confirm that whatever you're trading on is completely on the ground and it ain't floating in the air so um yeah that's probably a easy uh method to uh -uh. make sure of that and um that moves me on to my next tip about uh, trading is never drop your gun. If you ever drop your gun, just never do it. And if someone asks to see the power level, don't say no, but that's just going to make you look like a scammer. Instead, what you can do <coughs> is do this. It's a little glitch that helps people basically see the power level of the gun, but they can't steal it, basically. So I will be able to see the power level of the gun, but I, it, well, I won't be able to press square and get it, like, basically. Um, I'm actually going to show you this from two perspectives just to show you guys that this works. What you need to do is you need to build four boxes, like four walls like this. That wall doesn't have to be upgraded. I just upgraded that for no reason. This doesn't have to be upgraded. But you just have to build four walls of any type, and then you have to make a pyramid in the middle, and then you have to edit three squares out like this to make like this two-way ramp. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put a roof above your head like that. And now don't make a window. What you do... It's basically you would drop your gun like directly in the middle. Like let's say I want to show the guys a power level of my 82 candy corn LMG. You would get it in a way where it falls down to the bottom, and then you would go right here and you'd be able to see the power level. But I'm spamming square right now and I cannot pick it up. I promise you all my life I'm Sorry. spamming square. I'm literally spamming square right now, guys. So yeah, I cannot pick that up, but I can see the power level of it, and that works. Um, if you guys don't believe me, you could probably try to find a video out there somewhere with a hand cam of someone spamming, uh, someone spamming square to pick up. But yeah, um, that method is a really good method to show people the power level if they're lying, and there's actually a way you can get scammed by it. So, because I have another box right here, um, the way you can get scammed by it is basically when you drop your weapon the dude who's supposedly only be trying to see the power level hold on uh -uh. The guy who's supposedly only trying to see the power level I have to get it to fall down oh, to the uh, bottom like hold on guys give me a second uh, again Why can I not get these guns to fall to the bottom? There, finally. Okay. Now what you would do is they, while they're trying to see the power level, once they see the power level, what they can do is they can make a window can't. and go in there and steal it. But they can't do that that easily, so they'll probably make a door, open it. Oh, well, actually, it's kind of hard to do that now that I see. But there is a one way you can do it. You can just go bam, and you can just bam, steal the weapon. Nope. And then uh, you can, if you want, you can lock them back in. And to avoid this, when you're dropping your weapon, hold edits. And they can't, like I said, they can't steal it if you're holding edits and they can't edit the box out. The only thing they could possibly do would be do this. And they can't do that because they can't get to this because of the walls. And the walls don't let you edit through the wall. So, like, for example, I can't edit that floor no matter how hard I try. There's no way I can edit that floor right there. But yeah, that's a way to uh, prevent people from scamming you while still showing you the uh, power level. The third way you can uh, get scammed in this game, well, a, a third of my five ways that are very high likely to get scammed by is going to be one that's not that popular, but you still need to watch out for. And this is once again one that'll cover this, basically placing a trap will cover this one too. So. In the end, the most important thing to do when you're training is <coughs> put a trap on your floor. And, um, basically, the third type of way you can get scammed by this is to forget to build a roof. And there's something, a, tr a certain trap that will launch you into the air. So, let me show you guys by, let me see. I'll just make another What's train box over here. Basically, what you would do is forget to place a roof, and let's say you're ready to trade. Uh, you're holding at it, or, yeah, you have to hold it on this, or no one holds at it, because the other guy will secretly be holding at it on your floor. Actually, he won't be even holding at it. He'll just have uh, his 
hands out like this and basically the trap that I have in my hand right now is called a player jump pad up and it'll launch and you see in the description it launches players into the air basically what you would do is if you're standing in this corner let's say all right yeah I want to trade for this uh 32 pressure cutter sure dude for 32 21 short blade or whatever and then what they would do is basically they'll be standing right here kind of like this kind of when and they'll be like standing like this and kind of just like all right well basically what they would do is they'd ask for the power level. once again you can avoid this by doing that but you see like just drop it on the uh, floor let me see and then as soon as you drop it they'd place that and then what you can do with that actually is it will launch you into the air and then if they're fast enough once you get launched They'll place a roof, then you can't get your gun, because by the time you hit it back down, they've already have gotten your gun. And basically, yeah, that's um one of the main ways to uh to get scammed. <laughs> and actually I'm gonna destroy this so if someone comes to my home base, they don't think I'm a scammer for having that there. AKA it looks like I previously scammed somebody and wow. You never get your gun back if you would have land down there. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm a, a little bit sick, but um, it's whatever. But yeah, that's a uh, easy way to get scammed because you drop your gun, then you get launched into the air, and then they'd steal, they edit through and steal your gun. So, so yeah, that's uh one thing you need to watch out on. And once again, all you have to do to avoid that is place a trap. So yeah, and the fourth method of scamming. That wait, what method are we on? Uh, ma'am. No, we're on the final method, I'm pretty sure. So the final method of scamming is going to be basically what I like to call, I mean, I don't know what to call this. Basically, how you do this is you tell somebody, you give somebody, um, like, let's say you want to do a no box trade or something like this method of scamming is, I think, one of the cruelest ways. So I guess you could call it the, the, I don't know what you could call this, but it's very cold. And how the uh -uh. scammer does this is they get really cool with you, right? They get to the point where they do like a couple legit trades, Sorry. and then they'll say, "Hey, let's trade for 130 or whatever." Do some legit trades, and then what they'll do is they'll scam you. This method of scamming is the main method that people get scammed by in Save the World because it's so uh -uh. easy to get like close to someone after you do a couple of jit trades or at least like one would like make people trust you and after a while you probably get to the point where you won't even need a box and you'll just do trades like this and then what they'll do is they'll end up either kicking you or drop your gun off the map and or not drop your gun off the map but like kicking you or editing you through doing any of these scam methods yeah. I showed you guys before Wish I could. but the no box trade scam is basically uh, where you go back and um, you'll drop your two weapons. Now, as you can see from right here, I can't see what that is. They could drop a duty weapon right there. That's a scam on its own. That's kind of like a bonus scam. But the other scam would be to pick your gun up. Like they'll say, come like right up here. This is, um, and they'll say that, and then they'll be like, let's go through. And as soon as they get your gun, they'll they'll do that and get their gun back too. They just have to calculate how far uh, the face shift is. That's an outlander sham. Also, the ninja can do this too. He can double jump and go faster than normal. So, watch out for people that are outlanders or ninjas. And if you're trying to trade, more than likely, you're less likely to get scammed by a soldier or a constructor. Anyone else, they'll probably try to scam you more. And, uh, yeah. But with that being said, everyone that does that ain't a scammer. Just because they're weird that, you know, that's just... They might just wear just to be wearing it. In, in the end, no. Everyone's not a scammer. Some people are uh, play legit. So yeah. Anyway, um, that's basically the final method of getting scammed. And let's see if I should get you guys any more methods. Let me see. I'm thinking. Um, yeah. That that's one of the final ways. And the last way of getting scammed will be to drop a low power level weapon and this is the most obvious the most easiest way to scam someone and I think the whole entire Fortnite Save the World history is drop a low power level weapon 
basically what you do is let's say uh um this guy tells me he's gonna give me uh 106 tiny instrument of death for uh 106 vacuum tube sniper rifle so i drop my vacuum tube my 106 vacuum and he gives me the quote unquote 106 tiny instrument of death he said yeah let's go ahead and trade bam he'll do this and then if he can he'll try to pick up his gun too most of the time he won't be able to though if it's a box trade and then in the end it'll be 43 or some stuff that's the most easiest way to get scammed and even if you see the true power level who's to say they don't have two of the same gun because they can always have two or three of the same gun like I do right here they got two sieges different power levels right there but yeah um that's one of the easiest ways to get scammed And anyways, guys, see you guys later. That's uh the easiest ways to get scammed. And to wait before I uh am done, I need to explain how to avoid that scam. To avoid that, get the people to send a screenshot of their inventory to make sure they don't have any extra guns besides that specific gun. That's the easiest way to do it. And if they don't do it, then I wouldn't trade with them because clearly they're a scammer. They say, no, just just believe me. Don't I don't want to send you a screenshot or I can't. It's just an excuse. Are you serious? Everyone who wants to trade isn't legit. <clears throat> now, anyone who's offended by this vi video who uh -uh. is think that I'm trying to show scammers scam methods. These scammers probably already know of these methods anyway, and I'm trying to show the legit traders out there to watch uh -huh. out for these scams because I'm showing you guys a legit way to avoid it. Now, how to avoid pretty much every scam. First of all, make a trading box. Never do an outside trade. Place a, uh, place a trap on your floor and all of your walls and your roof. And that brings me to one more scam. They can, uh... Have a outside friend who can edit through the roof and scam you or the walls, but basically build a trap around everything you have in that trading box. And what I would do is drop. All right, hear me out, guys. I'll say, let's say the guy says they'll give me a eighty, uh, eighty-two uh dragon's breath, and then I'll say I'll give them a a. Well, I'll give them a, let me see, 82, hold on, let me think this through. Let's say they give, let's say, hold on, let me get something different. Let's say they'll give me a 58 siege. I'll tell them, I'll give them, give them a 50. I'll give them a 58, um, what do I have two guns of, a different power level? Okay, let's say they try to give me a, um, 34 Sunsetter, I'll give them quote, a quote unquote or like Dang it guys, I keep on messing up. Let me see. Alright, alright, I got it, I got it. Sorry guys. I was just thinking there. Let's say they'll give me <coughs> a one thirty knock. I'll say I'll give them a one thirty grave. One thirty grave for one thirty knock. If they scam you like that well, I'll keep weapons. the gun and leave the game because uh -uh. that isn't scamming that's scamming a scammer but if they drop you a real 130 then I'll drop them a real 130 like let's say you drop them your uh fake gun first and then tell them before they leave the game before they start calling your scammer stuff what you would do is say I, I just wanted to see if you were gonna give me the real gun and that's how I trade most of my most of the time anyway I see if the people that I'm trading with are actually for real about giving me this gun and if they really have a 130 and if they drop like a doo doo weapon I'll just go ahead and leave the game with their gun but if they drop a real weapon and are true to the word I'll not leave the game and I'll give them the real gun this method is the easiest way to avoid any type of scam. Build in the box, put a floor, traps and everything, and then do that. That's the easiest way for a legit trader not to get scammed. Anyway, that's the end of this video. This video is starting to get pretty long now, so if you guys didn't enjoy it, smash that like button and subscribe because I'm pretty sure some of you guys probably 
didn't know about these scams. And uh, <laughs> as, in, as always, peace out.